Have you ever wondered what would you do if you could not move your limbs? Well, that is the state of a quadriplegic patient where an injury to the spinal cord or brain causes total or partial paralysis in lower half of the body. According to a recent survey in India, about 1.5 million of the total population suffers from spinal cord injuries, of which about 200,000 are diagnosed with cervical quadriplegia. These people are not able to live independently. They always require supervision and assistance for navigation. But in India, powered wheelchairs is very rarely available. And even if it is available, it is not affordable. So, we, the students of VNIT, have come up with a prototype of a low-cost, self-sustainable wheelchair for paralytic patients. The smart wheelchair comprises of simple and cheap components that are readily available. Now, moving on to the system. Here, we have a headgear that comprises of infrared gloves and accelerometer controlled head collar. The glass is used for navigation of the wheelchair and head collar is used for sending emergency notifications using GSM. There is also RF remote which we have customized using our own encoder for the navigation of wheelchair. Also, the wheelchair can be sent to a specific coordinate in a defined space using FM navigation and localization. The patient can also send speech commands in his vicinity using speech transmission. There is also pulse oximetry for measuring the heartbeat of the patient. The motor is controlled by processor through a 20 volt 18 ampere motor driver comprised of edge bridge using MOSFETs. Now here is the list of the TI components. directly gives required commands to the motor driver for various motions. Same encoder and TX module is interfaced with all other circuits and sensor for wireless control. Here we see two sensors. First sensor is put on the IR glasses and second is accelerometer. IR glasses sensors are used to control the motor wirelessly. So when in IR glass it basically tracks the eyeball movements and according to the eyeball movement, it controls the wheelchair. And all of these signals are sent via RF control wirelessly. And accelerometer module is used to control GSM module. It is used in case of health emergency. If health emergency is there, then accelerometer can be activated by tilting the head forward and the call will be made or message will be sent via GSM module to the uh, caretaker and he can uh, take care of the situation. Now we see the use of eyeglasses. It is used to move the wheelchair. Now when he tilts his head forward, the IR sensors will be calibrated. Now the IR sensor will track his eyeball and according to the motion of the eyeball, the wheelchair will move via this. Moving his eyeball and the tires are moving accordingly. This circuit is sub part of very important system of our project called FM based indoor localization and navigation system. We have implemented indoor navigation and localization using FM based signals because commercially available kinet based indoor navigation is very very expensive. This system is very useful feature for paralytic patient because 
using this feature any third party can send desired coordinate of 2d map of a room via ls or via gsm wheelchair will track these coordinates and reach there without any effort from the patient side this system can be explained with a simple mathematical model here three different fm bulbs tuned at three different frequencies are placed at the vertices of equilateral triangle in a room and there is a fm demodulation and signal strength detector circuit on the wheelchair the three different fm bulbs will emit different frequencies and the power detected by the receiver circuit on the wheelchair is a function of distance of the fm bulb from the wheelchair this is signal strength versus distance graph here you can see when fm bulb is far away from the receiver the signal strength is only 5 and as you move the fm bulb near to the receiver circuit the signal strength is increasing increasing constantly so this signal strength is represented by r1 r2 and r3 corresponding to each fm bulb here is r1 r2 and r3 and in this equation x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 are the coordinates or center of the circle of the three fm bulbs so by solving all these three equations and calculating x y and z we can accurately determine the position of wheelchair inside this equilateral triangle let's see the working demonstration of this system here these are three fm bulbs which are emitting three different frequencies and this cardboard is representing a specific coordinate where wheelchair needs to be localized and now wheelchair is calibrating its movement according to the distance versus signal strength graph and it is trying to reach the specific coordinate which is represented by the cardboard the paralytic patient needs constant monitoring of his heartbeat to know his health status we implemented a pulse oximeter using texas instruments opt 101p monolithic photodiode a heart beat can be estimated from blood oxygen level and the major parameters in determining the oxygen saturation level in the blood are oxy and deoxy hemoglobin they show different response to red and infrared light based on their light absorption coefficient exploiting this property we obtained this responses using photodiode and communicated it to the tvasi controller when the user turns left or right an emergency notification is sent now you can see that the call has been made to a particular user